Hi guys, I just bought this voltage regulator from Amazon and it's super cheap and very efficient and that's what I was looking for. However, I didn't know exactly how to connect this, how to wire this to my battery and also to my loading. So I decided to do a quick research and I couldn't find a really good video out there. So uh, let's go ahead and show how I did mine. And uh, I decided to do a quick drawing for you since it is so tiny you can barely see the you know the right is on the back um so let's go ahead and show what i did here so this is your your battery this is your power source so you're going to be collect connecting your positive side of your battery to the vin and then the negative side you will collect connect it on the ground um the thing is uh you will be sharing the same ground with your loading uh, whatever it is that you're loading it, putting your negative side to the to the ground and your voltage out should go ahead and connect to your positive side of your loading. And that should do the trick and it should work just fine. I'm not using this third third hole uh, here. Um, actually, I do not know what it's that for, but this is a very efficient um, bucket converter. And uh, as you can see, you can actually... If you flip around, you'll see there will be other options as well. If you you can make adjustable, usually by default comes as, as adjustable, but you can also make it permanent. You can actually select one voltage that you want, and uh, and then you can go ahead and install it here on the back if you're really good at uh, electronics. I'm not. I'm just going to leave this as adjustable, and I already adjusted this. Um, so let me go ahead and connect here. I'll show you. I have another one set up there and uh, this is how it looks when it's connected and here you go you have like five volts that's what i'm looking for to power my avionics inside my my rockets um again i was looking for something really light and small that could go ahead and fit you know on the inside the fairings that i'm going to put on and yeah, it's uh, 5.4. It's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I noticed there is a little variance as you move, um, but not much. Uh, but let me see if I can go ahead and show you right there. So if I just go ahead and move a little bit or touch it, as with vibration, actually it makes a voltage change a little bit, which I don't think should be a, a big deal. I, you know, I think Arduino can go ahead and pick up that pretty, pretty uh, fine. As long as I'm, I'm, I'm not planning to use a lot of amps, I'm not going to be running any motors, just a little couple of servos inside. And yeah, and it should, uh, should work just fine. So yeah, I hope that this helped you and uh, have fun.